Welcome back. In this video, we will realize what chaos is in continuous systems of higher orders. We will understand and appreciate how chaos is observed in higher order ODEs which represent velocity, acceleration, jerk, snap, crackle and pop. Some of the common examples of the chaotic systems are Rosler system, Chen system and Lorentz system. Here I have listed two such systems. The Rosler system is a first order ODE and the jerk chaotic attractor is a third order ODE. Now let's refresh the physics and maths we learned in school and the remarkable relationship which both of them hold together for centuries. Say x is a point. We all know that the rate of change of the position of x with respect to time is called velocity. This is mathematically denoted as dx by dt. That is, dx by dt is the rate of displacement of x with respect to time. Now coming back to our chaotic system, Rosler system is a 3D system. Here we define the point in motion and its velocity is mathematically expressed as dx by dt, dy by dt and dz by dt. The dynamics of the Rosler system is governed by the control parameter values a, b and c. When we plot the system, we get a pattern and the marvelous point to be noted is that at some particular value of the control parameter, the velocity of the points exhibit chaos and hence we say that the Rosler system is a chaotic system. We are familiar with the terms displacement, velocity and acceleration. The next higher order derivative of velocity is acceleration. We all know that acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. We experience velocity when we move and we experience acceleration when we change the velocity at which we move. For example, when we are traveling in a car, we do not feel the velocity, but only the change of velocity, that is acceleration, which is brought by the force exerted. So if a dynamic system expressed as a second order ODE is said to be chaotic, it means that chaos is observed in the acceleration of the dynamic system. Climbing up the order of the derivative, Next comes the third order ODE, which is expressed as d cube x by dt cube. This is called jerk. And the next higher order derivative is called snap. The terms jerk and snap are less commonly used terms even by most physicists and engineers. What is jerk and snap? Mathematically, jerk is the third derivative of the position of x with respect to time, followed by snap which is the fourth derivative of x with respect to time. Jerk is experienced as a change in force exerted on the body. The other astonishing higher order derivatives are crackle which is the fifth derivative of x with respect to time and pop which is the sixth derivative of x with respect to time. Interestingly, this goes on forever. So if a dynamic system is mathematically expressed as a fifth order ODE, then it is expressing crackle. 
and if for a particular control parameter value of the system the dynamics exhibits chaos then that system is said to be a chaotic system we realize now that mathematics is not just a subject but it is a language to express the various wonderful phenomena in this universe we also understand how it plays an invisible and invincible role in our daily life in conclusion of this video we perceive and appreciate how chaos is observed in the higher order odes of the continuous dynamic systems stay tuned for more videos on chaos and the various chaos detection tools thank you